Hi, I'm Shannon Henry, an Applications Engineer here at EMA Design Automation. If you are designing PCBs, chances are you have run into manufacturing issues at some point. By adopting a DFMA approach, you can drastically reduce any potential manufacturing pitfalls. You might be thinking, what is DFMA? DFMA stands for Design for Manufacturing and Assembly. Essentially, this means taking manufacturing and assembly processes and procedures into consideration throughout your entire design. The goal of DFMA is to create an easily and efficiently manufactured design at the lowest possible cost. To save time and money, you should consider some additional factors during the layout phase of your PCB design. First, consider the manufacturing process. The creation of the panel used for manufacturing will require additional constraints. Space must be allotted between the board outline and the copper. This will allow the creation of the panel, manufacturing, and separation to be accomplished. Please note, according to IPC specifications, you should include a .02 inch clearance into your design to ensure a successful assembly process. IPC 2221 and IPC 2222 provide guidelines for creating manufacturable, cost-effective panels. Second, consider the process of separating the panels. Be sure to contact your manufacturer for their specific constraints. For example, if your manufacturer is using a tab routing process, don't place surface mount components near the edge of the board due to the aggressive nature of the tab cutter. Or if your manufacturer is using the punching process, this requires exact design criteria for the machinery to function properly. This process also requires non-glass and non-fibrous material to be used for the laminate. The CEM family of laminates should be used. Third, consider the assembly process. To create a board that is easily and efficiently assembled, be sure to include fiducial marks in your design. Fiducial marks are used to locate and orient specific parts on the PCB. They will be used in the assembly process to ensure the correct placement and orientation of components. Remember to place fiducials in at least three corners of the board for PCBs with surface mount components. It is important to note that some manufacturers will request local fiducials in the corner of fine pitched parts for proper placement. If a fiducial is placed off board on the manufacturing panel, this is used to indicate stuff or no stuff options on the assembly. The typical diameter of a fiducial is 0.04. The minimum solder resist clearance is 0.02. Fourth, second op processes should be considered in the PCB layout phase. Component placement will dictate soldering requirements. Try to reduce the number of soldering processes necessary for assembly. Establishing manufacturing contacts and discussing these topics prior to PCB layout will help you design a board that can be easily produced. Minimizing the number of manufacturing processes and reducing possible issues in manufacturing will save you significant time and money, keeping your project on time and on budget. Here are some do's and don'ts when designing for manufacturing and assembly. Do establish manufacturing contacts. They will be able to answer any questions before and during manufacturing. Do find out the manufacturer's specific tolerances. Many manufacturers have different tolerances they can produce. These affect spacing, vias, drill holes, and more. Do learn about the manufacturing process and the associated costs. What is involved in making your PCB double-sided? How much cost does it add? Don't send your board to manufacturing blindly. Some software offers DFM checks and constraints. Take advantage of these to ensure there are no issues or delays during manufacturing. Designing for manufacturing and assembly will help reduce errors and delays during fabrication, keeping your project on time and on budget. If you have any topics you would like to see in our Whiteboard Wednesday sessions, go ahead and add them in the comments below. In the meantime, be on the lookout for more Whiteboard Wednesday sessions from the PCB design experts here at EMA Design Automation.